Okay, so this video I'm going to show you guys drawing shapes with the pen tool. So, so far we have been drawing um, our basic polygons, rectangles, ovals here using these tools. So that's uh, those are good tools for when you need to just draw those basic shapes. But um, for the most part, we're going to need to draw um, more complex and more unusual shapes. So um, the majority of this class, you'll be doing sketches in your sketchbook, putting those in the computer, and then tracing over those shapes with the pen tool. So this is the pen tool right here. Uh, the shortcut is the letter P. This is a very uh, important tool for you guys in Master. We're going to be using this on every single project for the rest of the quarter. Um, so really make sure you watch this video enough, you practice with this pen tool enough to master the basics with it, and then we're going to get into more complicated things later on with the pen tool. But I want to make sure you understand the basics just of how to use this. Um, so to start, I'm going to show you just how to draw a basic straight edge shape. So the pen tool is very good. It can do straights and curves. It can draw shapes and it can draw just lines. Um, so to start, we're going to draw just a straight edge shape. Okay, so I switch to the pen tool, the letter P. And now I'm going to just single click um, to start drawing my shape. I'm just going to click once. That's where my uh, shape will start. And each place I click, it's going to create an anchor point. So you can see the little word anchor above it there. And as I move out, I'm just going to click to another spot. There, single click, single click, single click, single click. And the same thing. And in order to close that shape, um, you have to go back to that original point you started on, go back to that first anchor point, and that will close the shape. You know the shape will be closed because my little pen tool icon right here gets that tiny little circle by it, and that just means it's closing the shape. So I'll click that there. Once I've done that, this is now a regular shape. So this is just like a rectangle or an ellipse that we drew uh, in the previous video. And I can now, again, change the stroke on this. I can change the color of the fill the way I would any other shape, OK? And I can switch that selection tool again, letter V, move it around, resize it if need be, OK? So as you guys were messing around with this, my guess is you probably noticed some, something else happened with the pen tool. So the pen tool can also draw curves. Um, and to do that, we'll start off with just some single clicks. Again, single click, single click. But now I want to change this from straight edges to a curve. Okay? So it's a little tricky to control. Um, we're going to do more exercises later on on how to control these curves, but I just want you to try and draw some of them. So rather than just doing a single click, I'm going to click, hold, and then drag. So I'm going to click, hold down with my mouse, and I'm going to start just by dragging up. I could drag down also, but I'm going to drag up. And as you can see, this now turns it from a straight edge to a curve. Okay? So it's going to continue the curve as I come through here. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to click, hold down with my mouse, and drag just a little bit. Carefully, you don't drag this too far. It can get real crazy real quick. So click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag. And again, I'm almost done with the shape, so I'm going to go back to that same starting anchor point. Click there. OK? So again, um, that's creating both a just a straight edge shape with the pen tool and also a shape that has straights and curves to it. Okay, so we'll go over this uh, pen tool in more detail in the coming videos. Uh, but practice first just drawing a straight edge shape with the pen tool, then drawing a uh, straight and curved edge shape with the pen tool. So see if you can do both of those, if you can control the curves as well. So um, I'll get another video coming up here next with a few more features of the pen tool.